thanks for joining me. So today I am going to do a set of coasters. I really liked the way that those other ones turned out that I had started all together and then pulled them apart after I blew it out. So I'm going to do another one like that. And I also really liked the way that this one turned out. I liked the colors on it and everything. And so I'm going to use the same colors partially because I still have um, quite a bit of paint that I used for the base in this cup. And I really want to get it used up before the paint goes bad. And I don't really want to have it sitting around any longer because it's just taking up space. So this is a mixture of permanent black by Master's Touch and titanium white by Master's Touch. I mixed it up when I was doing a test for my base coat uh, formulas. So you can check out that video if you want so that you can see how I mix those together. I didn't stir it completely because I wanted there to be a little bit of marbling look to it. So I'm hoping I should have enough to do all of the coasters. And um, especially since I have them all together to begin with, then if I get a little too much on one, it'll be easier to spread it to the next one. So that should work out. And then the colors that I'm going to use are Yellow Medium by Master's Touch, Satin Cotton Ball by Deco Art, Metallic Rich Espresso by Deco Art, and Pearlescent Rose by Master's Touch. I'm gonna go ahead and flood my tiles and I'll be right back. So they are all flooded and the bubbles have been popped. I took a little bit of stuff out that was in there. Um, the biggest issue was that since I wanted to keep the marbled look as much as possible, I didn't want to disturb it too much. And so I was going to use my omelet turner and then I decided against it just because I thought that would probably work it a little too much. Um, I was debating on if I wanted to pull these apart just a little bit so that I could do the edge along there. And then I decided against it. I probably, if I was going to do that, I probably should have done the edges before I even put any over the top and then pushed them together. Um, when I pull these apart, afterwards it is going to allow that paint to go down the sides as well so it shouldn't be an issue it should be able to cover okay and that's why I decided not to do that yet because I'm afraid too much of it is going to fall off um, while I'm trying to do that and maybe it would be fine I don't know but I want to try it this way and see if it's gonna work out or not 
So let's get started with the colors. And I guess I haven't shaken them up yet, so I probably should do that. All right, so Yellow Medium by Master's Touch, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it in an X, like I did on that other one. Now I have a feeling I've got quite a bit of base coat on here. So I'm hoping that it'll still turn out good. I want to make sure that I have plenty of the other colors. But I probably also don't really need to worry about that too much since it is on tiles. So there's not as much room for them to spread out as if it was on a large canvas. And I definitely want some of the background to show up, so I don't want it to overtake the whole thing. And that was Cotton Ball by Decort. This one's the Rich Espresso. And the pearlescent rose. So unfortunately, I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby has discontinued this color or if it's just a color that you can only get inside the store instead of buying online. I'm not sure, but they don't show it online. And when I bought it, I bought it in a, um, small pack that had seven different pearlescent colors in it. So, okay, I'm going to torch this one more time. As you can see, this is running this way. So this one is definitely not level over here. So it's a good thing I'm moving them after I do this video to a place that they are going to be level. Okay, world's smallest hair, it's not the world's smallest hair dryer, world's smallest leaf blower. Okay, it is pretty. This one, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I got way too deep into the base or what, but it kind of started getting really um, 
muddled into the base, I guess. You see a lot more of the base than you do the colors, but it's because the colors kind of got pushed under the base as I was blowing them out. But it's still really pretty. You can still see some colors. There's actually some purple that's showing up in here too because of it. So I'm going to um, pull these apart, take care of the edges along there, then scrape the edges, and then I'll bring you in for a close-up. I'll be right back. Here they are. I put them back together somewhat so you could see what they look like that way. There are so many interesting designs and colors in this. so pretty. I think this one's probably my favorite of them all. All right, I'm going to shut the overheads off and just have my flash on my phone. All right, let's go in and see how much sparkle and shine they have. With the metallic in there and the pearlescent in there, these are going to be so beautiful when they're reddened. They're already so beautiful. And see, it did keep the marbling in the background. I was really hoping to have some of that in all of them, and I do. So that's exciting. Really like this one too. I'd appreciate it if you would click the like button, 
if you liked this, helps my videos be shown to more people. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you to all my current subscribers. I really appreciate all your support. I hope you love this as much as I do. I think it's really, really pretty. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye. God bless.